boys and girls, it's Miss Massaro. Today I am by myself, but I'm also with my dog, Daisy. She might be in the video a few times because she's in my backyard with me. And today we're going to be working on a game called Bocce, but I'm going to call it Wild Bocce because I changed it up a little bit. It's a little bit more fun and we are going to not make it the same as how the game of Bocce is normally played. The game of Bocce is normally played in teams so there could be a yellow team, green, red, blue, and this is the target ball that you're trying to roll your bocce balls to. So you're trying to get this ball as close as you can in the yard to the target ball, which is also called a Paulina, which is silly. But today we are going to use two tennis balls and I have a golf ball that is just like the Paulina and I'm going to throw that into my yard and try to get these bocce balls as close as I can to my target ball. Bocce is normally played in a big field on grass or you could see people playing it on the beach which I do sometimes with my family. So bocce has the same exact skill that we had when we were doing the bowling video. So you probably remember doing tick tuck forward because you are rolling the ball and that's the same skill that we are going to use today. So you take it one at a time and we're just gonna roll to practice. So you're gonna put your bocce ball or your tennis ball in your favorite hand, drop it down by your belly button, step with your opposite foot, point with your opposite hand, tick, tock, and let go by your toes. So you're gonna practice that until you feel comfortable. So do that one or two times before you start your bocce game. So I am by myself today, so I'm going to show you how to play bocce by yourself. So you start with your target ball and you're going to throw it not too far into your yard or where you are playing. So mine is right there. I'm going to stay exactly where I was when I threw it. I'm going to take one of my bocce balls. I'm going to drop it down by my belly button. Step point with my opposite foot and arm. And then tick and tuck forward by my toes and See, it's pretty close to the golf ball, the target ball. I'm gonna try a second time to see if I can get even closer than I did the first time. So I'm going to put it in my favorite hand. I'm going to point, step, tick, tuck, let go by my toes. And the first time I got closer. If you're playing with a partner, they also have two balls. So I have two balls and my partner has two balls and we take turn seeing who can get closest to the target ball. Whoever gets closest to the target ball gets one point. One point. And you can keep playing different rounds. So after I go, I'd pick it up and I'd start over again. If you're playing with a partner, whoever gets closest gets one point. So you don't have to just do it on grass. You can also do it on cement, which is a flatter surface and the ball rolls even faster. So I'll show you up here. So I have some lane bumpers like I did in bowling, in my bowling video. So I have this pole just in case so it doesn't go into the pool and it's more straight on. I also have these chalk lines. I'm gonna try to keep my bocce balls through the chalk line. And that is my target ball. The volleyball is my big target ball. So I'm only going to use a little bit of muscle power because it rolls really fast. So I don't need to whip it with a lot of muscle power. I just need a little bit of muscle power. So I'm gonna put only one bocce ball in my hand. I'm going to drop it down by my belly button. I'm going to point and step with my opposite foot and arm. And then I'm going to tick, tuck, and oh, it rolled really fast. So this time I'm gonna go even lighter with my muscle power. So drop it down by your belly button. Step and point with your opposite foot and arm. Tick, tuck and I got closer this time. So that's exciting. So if I was playing with a partner and I was the closest one to the ball, then I would get a point. So now I'm going to collect my bocce balls, which are my tennis balls, and I'm going to collect my target ball, which is my volleyball, and I'm going to do a trick shot in my yard. So you can do this with some equipment you might have in your house or anything really and you're going to throw your target ball into your yard. So that's where my target ball is. 
Daisy's on the chair like a silly dog. And I'm going to do the same thing, except this time I'm going down a hill. So I'm gonna be careful. And I'm going to put one in my hand, drop it down by my belly button, step, point, tick, tuck through the tube. Oh, it missed. So that one didn't get very close to my target ball. I'm gonna try this one again. So I'm trying to get it through the tube, around the Frisbees, and to my target ball. So Daisy <laughs> might get hit, but that's okay. So I'm going to put it in my favorite hand, point, tick, tuck. Oh, it went over. Oh, that one was a little bit closer. So if you're doing it by yourself, you can come up with your own trick shot. If you're doing it with a partner, whoever gets closest to your target ball gets one point and then you can do a new round. You also don't have to count points if you don't want to. You also can make your own trick shot. So it doesn't have to be in your yard, but it has to be somewhere safe where your parents or your loved ones can see you. And yeah, so this is how you play bocce. You can use any kind of ball and just have a target ball and two bocce balls. And that is how you play the game. Boys and girls, Daisy and I can't wait to see you play bocce by yourself, with a partner, or with your entire family. We also are super excited to see you do your own trick shot. Have a good day. I can't wait to see your videos.